Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this tutorial, we will discuss about other page tags that are available. So we're going to go ahead and discuss two important tags, which are two important page tags. One is called as the page block and the other one we have is the page block section. So inside of the page block, we have page block section. So as you can see in this picture, the page block tag, it creates an area inside of a page where multiple sections can be created and you can add multiple fields, buttons, etc. So in this figure that you see here, I have created two page blocks. So first one is this one, the first block, and then I have is the second block here. So these are the two page blocks I have created. And inside of the first page block, I have created two sections. There is a first section and a second section. So in order to create the sections, we will use this particular tag. And inside of this section, you can add columns. Okay, so a page block section component consists of one or more columns and be by default, the number of columns can be two. So you can see here, if you're adding more elements to the section, it'll add to the next row. So the first element will go at the column one. The second element will automatically go to the column two. If you're adding a third element, it will go to the row below here. And if you're adding a fourth element, it will go under the item number two. So it will not create a column three or a column four. The more by default, it's two. So one is basically for a field label and one for the value. Every component found in the body of this page block section is placed into the next cell in a row until the number of columns is reached. So if you have, if you have specified two columns, then the third element will go to the next row. The page block, as you can see, is going to create a block. And inside of the block, you can create its multiple sections. And uh, inside of those sections, you can add labels, buttons, links, etc. And by default, it inherits the standard Salesforce page style. So automatically, whatever the style of the page standard Salesforce is, automatically inherits that. You do not have to do anything specific for the styling. It automatically inherits the standard Salesforce styling. Then inside of the page block, you can define the page block sections. And uh, you can create multiple sections can be created inside of a page block. And each section can be used to display fields. You can either display input fields or output fields. So let's go ahead and do an example to illustrate our page block and page block section tag. So the first thing is we are going to go back to our developer console here. And uh, inside of this, I'm going to say Apex page tags two. So this is the name of my Visual Force page. And here I'm going to display what is the section, a page block and the page block section. So the most important tag that we have is the Apex page. So this has to be here. Then inside of this Apex page, I'm going to create my first page block. So here I'm going to say Apex page block. So these are the different tags that are available, page block. And uh, so I've created my first page block and let's call this page block. Let's have some title here. So there is an attribute available for this tag called title, which basically tells you the title of this page block. So let's say here, I will say first block and go ahead and hit the save button. So I've created my first block here. Now inside of this page block, I can create multiple sections. So let's say now I'm going to go ahead and create my section here. So you can see there is a tag available called page block section and you can create multiple sections. So let's say I'm going to create two sections here. So let me go ahead and copy and then let's go ahead and paste it here. So I have created two sections inside of this page block. So let's say the first section we will call the title of the page is going to be, let's say, first section. And similarly here, I'm going to create the, this, there's going to be a title for the second section as well. So we'll call this as second section. So I've created a first, we've created one block and then I have created two sections. Now inside of this section, I can add items. So how will I add items? There is a tag available called page block. There's a tag available 
called page block section item in order to add the items to this particular section. So inside of the section, let's say I wanted to add three elements or three, uh, let's say I wanted to add three items. So what I can do is I'll just go ahead and copy and paste this three times. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this line. So I'm going to have three items inside of my section. So here I have, add, now let's say the first one is my tutorial rack. Then here I'll say Salesforce admin. So this is my second item here. And then here I can say Salesforce developer. As I mentioned to you, there's going to be added to the columns, right? So if I go back here, you can see the, f the first item goes to the column one. The second item goes to the column two. The third item will go to the next row. If you're going to add the fourth item, it'll automatically go under this. If you're going to add a fifth item, it'll go to the next row. So by default, the sizes, the by default, it's two and each of which spans two cells. One is basically for a field. The other one is for a value. Page block is going to create a block of code. As you can see, this is the first block. Then you have created a page block section is used to create a section inside of your page block. So I've created two sections. The first one is here and then I'm going to create a second section. So in order to create a second section, all you have to do is copy this code and paste it here. And then let's say here, I'm going to say item one, item two, and then I have is item three. So now I have created, let me go ahead and only add two items to this section. So this is what each of the tag represents here. So page is the most important tag. Every Visual Force page has to have this tag. Then in order to create a block inside of that page, you use this page block tag. And there is an attribute available called title. And we have specified the title of the page. Similarly, inside of the page block, you have added two sections. So we have a first section, title of the section is first section, and then you have added another section. And inside of that page block section, you have added items. So how do you add the items to this section? There is a tag already available called page block section item is used to add the items. Now these items can be anything. It can be a text box. It can be a dub button. It can be a link. It can be anything. Just for the simplicity, I've just left, left it as listed it as a text. You can have a button here. You can have a text box here, text field, anything. This is what a page tags are. So we have talked about page tag, page block, page block section, and page block section items. These are the different page tags that are available.